What is happening, y'all? Welcome back and check out my tail wave. How cool is that? Anyway, we are heading down here. Um, so we obviously have this on and we're going to put away the protein for a bit. I get lots of protein from all the predators and whatnot that I fight. And instead, we're going to focus on exploring the gulf a little bit and get some other upgrades. I'm not even sure if the gulf has a uh, an upgrade cave. I'm assuming that there's one for sure over here. But I want to explore the gulf area, and at the bare minimum, I want to pick up the... Um, I know you get an upgrade for, for land points. Or what are they called? Waypoints? Landmarks. I don't know why that word was so hard all of a sudden. Either way, it's time to get Sharky again. Turtle. didn't stand a chance. Each year, North American offshore drilling rigs leak about 880,000 gallons of oil into the sea, leaving it for marine wildlife who know nothing about running a profitable energy. Dive it in the wrong place, asshole. No one can tell what may be found in a shark's stomach. It's truly the ocean's garbage. Ah, he. Good protein on them. Wow. Two chests which it's definitely worth still getting these just because the chests um those are gonna be a nice source of mutation and i think if i keep up with Quite getting chests i probably won't have to worry about getting um, in the stomachs won't have to worry about the mutation upgrade that's the one thing so i wish we had like one more organ upgrade because we can only have three so like end game you know i'd assume sonar i mean i could get rid of sonar hardy would have to be on their end game um, this is probably the tail strength, or no, that's an unequipped, so maybe there is a fourth sex. I know tail strength is one we can get, or the, the muscles, whatever that is. Adrenaline gland I'd pass on, amphibious is a maybe, so I'd probably go sonar hardy and then something else, but I just, I wish I could have, Over like, the course one of a more upgrade. Life, it will ingest quite a broad assortment of flotsam and jetsam. Orca? Oh my god. That orca was no joke, though. Jesus. Stun on bio certainly helped, but... I think I would have been a lot better off with, um... My shadow loadout.
You know, I just realized usually um, games that are like open world see like this, like Subnautica, for example, there's like a constant fear. Like just, I guess most of it is like just like a fear of the unknown while you're playing. And that doesn't exist in this game. I think because of the fact that you are the, you're the deadliest thing, you know? Like, there's nothing in this water that I can't kill with the right upgrades. The sea wolf remains acutely aware of anything that might constitute food. that the magic of the camera allows us to witness this savage orgy of feeding. The bull shark is able to attain larger maximal sizes through selective feeding. Honestly, the Great Whites have been kind of disappointing. We just straight up bully great whites. Sharks have a habit of gobbling up anything that finds its way into the water. Sponge home. Sea sponges demand for pineapple homes has sparked massive deforestation throughout Costa Rica. But being brainless, sponges rarely weigh the consequences of their buying decisions. Oh my god. Anyone who has delved into the stomach contents of a shark is acutely aware that they'll eat just about anything. This recreation of the Titanic was so accurate, 1,500 huh? people died during its maiden voyage. 
Um, that's another chest. I'm trying to avoid the chests that are down. Um, ones that are like down in caves. This protein supplement has zero additives, so the shark doesn't have to worry about hidden artificial colors or flavors. It's whatever, it's only 70 meters. The shark uses lipids from high fat fare like this to help fuel her reign of terror. came down here. There's got to be something down here. back out west of those two that I missed. Wow, it's another cave thing. The biggest thing is getting close enough to see if it's a landmark or if it's something else. It's not messing around, man. What happens if I hit the... Okay, so there's a net. Can I go past it? I cannot. I don't know, maybe there's not a Mega. Because if there was a Mega, I figured that for sure it would be here in the Gulf. You know, it's because one, it needs to have. Well, then again, there is a lot left to the gulf. The solitary hunter stumbles upon another source of nourishment. I will say, if there is a mega, I'm definitely going to need the, uh, the shadow In set the to take it on. Be killed world of the sea. Performance enhancing mutagens provide benefits that could mean the difference between life and death. Prosperity Sands features glittering white beaches fenced off for the sole enjoying sharks propensity to clear the ocean of its assorted detritus is one of their most valuable functions. 
The ocean waters are driven constantly by tides, currents, and Saudi-owned super yachts. Lacking sufficient sand or protective dunes, heavily developed areas risk great danger from hurricane. The predatory scavenger is often quite content to dine on whatever wastes fall to the ocean floor. The ocean is a source of life, inspiration, and eternal renewal. But mostly it exists to be exploited and commodified by humans. Gotta make sure I don't go into the new area yet. Focus on the gulf still. The appetite of this shark is nearly insatiable. This looked for sure like it would be a landmark. Five. All right. I don't think I can mess with a sperm whale right now. A great way to discourage museum attendance is to put your museum underwater. Nope, it's angry at me. Nope, 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 nope. I need to evade this thing, dude. Caviar oh my, what is my level? Coastal exposure. Storms that had a minor impact three decades ago caused significant flooding today. The ocean is a fluid and fascinating world, always changing, forever in motion. Hunger is a driving force for the bull shark. There is the one in the gulf. Returns to the grotto to focus on personal transformation. All right. If I'm going to fight this stuff, I need shadow on. Uh, lunge turn into lightning, 12 damage and four stun counters. No, let me just go shadow. Um, not sure how I feel about that, but I feel like I could, I might be able to even take on the, the sperm whale with my shadow set. Oh man. An albino sperm whale? Somebody a little too slow to fight back. So much so that several states prohibit their hunting. Yes, meat. Let's visit Grotto, Elder. Hang on. I just want me to visit the Grotto. Did I? Did I evolve into something beyond an Elder? Do I become a mega? Do I do I evolve into a mega? The shark is now a mega shark. I am a mega. Often referred to by scientists as the 64 ounce gas station soda of large marine predators. Mega shark.
want to get some some good visuals of my shark. Oh yeah, I look badass. Tell me about how much you like that shark look. Yeah, this is ASMR with Shark Cowboy, coming at you with some smooth, sharky business. All right, let's go. So I want to go all the way out to here. I want to finish getting the landmarks. Would you even consider doing that? You have a death wish, bro. I am a mega shark. You are a baby hammerhead, basically. This shark is a sort of super scavenger, completely lacking in what may be called dietary discrimination. I saw a thing. Where'd it go? Yo, it's is this is this a subnautica face? No one knows who built this mysterious underwater base. I'm pretty sure it's are, supposed to be a subnautica own a base. Nehru jacket and a Persian cat. Wait, Nehru jacket and Persian cat. No, it's probably it's I don't know. I don't know. I don't know that that particular reference. To me, it looks like a subnautica base, but it could have been that subnautica got the concept from something else. Like for the the look of their bases. Some sharks are scavengers, indiscriminately consuming anything that's vaguely edible. Yeah, it's right about northeast. This has long been a popular dumping ground for the military, thanks to its lenient regulations and low tipping fees. Oh man, a threefer. I will say the rest of the game here on out is probably going to be pretty easy for me just because of how this instant like, ties try hard I've gone. Great between meals supplement, giving the shark the energy she needs to put on serious mass. Like if I had, if I had been like progressing through zones at a steady pace, I would probably be the, the appropriate level. And instead, I'm like, I'm getting everything done. I'm getting all the upgrades. I am going to These be the biggest the shark the Gulf vital, has ever seen. The ocean floors of edible and semi-edible detritus. Oh, that's got to be the final one. Coastal risk analysis ah. reveals that if a T-Rex is your favorite dinosaur, then you're boring and unoriginal and you need to pick a different favorite dinosaur. Uh, the quips are probably my favorite part of this game. I don't, I don't know. Say second favorite part. I think my favorite it's part vital that is we just extract being an a shark. Absolute maximum of resources before we cross Earth's apocalyptic threshold. Straight held a hammerhead down from first bite to death. There be kaiju. Giant monsters or kaiju occasionally visit Port Clovis to pregame, 
before destroying more worthwhile cities. It's supposed to be something that's like chained in here. Oh man, it's still four things I'm missing. That'll probably get me the last chest. I need the final, uh, final landmark. supplement wouldn't be necessary if this shark ate a more nutritious well-balanced diet license plate there were two license plates I was missing Okay, that was one of everything. I'm guessing this will lead me down to my final, uh, final chest. Oh, yep, here we go. Oh no, that's, that's like all of them. Oh no, one of those is probably an exit. I see an escape, I see a chest. Supercharged with gene altering mutagens, the shark now has an asymmetric edge on the competition. But that didn't get me. Damn it, where's the final golf one, dude? You kidding me? I'm gone like the. Oh, there it is. Oh my god. Back up on the surface. Ice fishing is similar to regular fishing, but enjoyable only to upper Midwesterners. Just hanging out. percent of the gulf cleared so we could go to caviar key or we could go to prosperity sands um story wants me to go there i am going to caviar key gets me the shadow head prosperity sands gets me the shadow tail oh man these are both things that i want um prosperity sands revenge hunt population apex check on scaly pete all right let's let's continue the story how we should we'll go to um i am going to um there i'll fast travel over here uh, and we'll make our way over to prosperity sands in the next episode once more the shark turns back to this place let's check out that centered evo that i got it increases your resistance to damage. 5% damage resistance. Okay, so late game having both hardy and reinforced cartilage would probably be smart. Um, not a big fan of the... I mean, I don't know. I guess the question is what what it constitutes as badly injured? How bad is badly injured? Is having this... What do you upgrade with? Crystals? Uh, eh. Probably sonar hardy and reinforced, or hardy reinforced and whatever the the upgrade I get from the dudes is. Um, let me. Uh, bone is tier five. Bone. I want to keep upgrading the bone stuff because I'm gonna need that for boats. Yeah, let's go do the tail because the electric. Well, no, I don't. No, we're we're doing it. We're doing it. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna follow the story. I'm gonna go get my tail. Anyway, uh, wrapping up here, more shark will be coming your way soon. So, 
Adios, and I'll catch y'all soon enough as Maneater continues.